Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is Why I Hate the World. How are you guys doing? So, I made a video about three years ago um, about uh, Therians, which has gotten some responses and uh, some comments that I'm going to answer because, like an idiot, I promised I would make an, an answer video because I'm a moron and I'm thus engaging with fucking Therians again. <laughs> right? But whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, if you, those of you out there who don't know what a Therian is. It's it's someone who believes that in a past life they were an animal, right? Uh, you know, a, a duck or a, a frog or a, you know, wolf or some shit like that, right? And, or a lion. And they think that, you know, they have visions of themselves running around in the Serengeti and, and hunting down, you know, um, antelope and eating their stomachs raw <laughs> and that kind of thing. And like, you know, killing hyenas on sight and, and pissing on things and, and, uh, et cetera, all the shit that lions do or whatever animals do. Right. And, you know, they, um, but it just doesn't stop there because there are also people who believe that they're mythical creatures like vampires or unicorns or celestial beings like gods and angels and demons and other stuff. Right. And then there's also people who are called fiction kin who think that they're actually fictional characters like you know Batman or Spider-Man or Harley Quinn and other such nonsense right and that all falls under the general umbrella of other kin is what they call it and um you know but I got a lot of comments mostly from the um Therian people who are the animal kin I guess you would say right not so much from the other varieties so First one I want to answer is from a guy named Pinecone from the Pack of Flaming Skies. Which is like, the minute I heard that, I was just like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Pack of the Flaming Skies, are you fucking serious? But, alright. Anyway, Pinecone here. I'm not going to read his entire comment because it's all in caps. And I'd have to scream because that's what that means when you type in caps. It means you're screaming, you know, through the keyboard. And my neighbors might get mad at me, so I ain't gonna scream. But basically, he's telling me to get a life <laughs> and all that shit. And, uh, but even a couple of things in this, in this comment, I think, are um, not, uh, you know, kind of shows that it's all made up baloney. Like, so he's talking about play fighting with the alpha of his pack. And it's, you know, wolf packs don't really have an alpha wolf in the way that the, you know, common people believe. You know, like when you say that word alpha, right, it makes it sound like, you know, the alpha male kind of dominant male that goes in and it is the one that gets to have sex with all the females and stuff. Kind of like a, a lion, um, you know, leader of the pack of lions or something. Well, wolves don't really have that. It's more based on age and, and uh, you know, relationships, right? And it's so, for example, a... Uh, um, the leader of a wolf pack doesn't have sex with all the females in the pack the same way that a lion does, you know. That, it's not true. You know, wolves actually mate for life. Well, some varieties do. You know, they're monogamous, <laughs> all right? I mean, it's, it's shit like that that, you know, kind of leads me to believe that, like, anybody who actually was a wolf in a prior life would know how a wolf pack, the dynamics of a wolf pack work, they wouldn't use a word like alpha because it doesn't really describe it. They would say something like leader, you know. And that just kind of makes me think. It's like, well, you know, obviously, you know, the kid's making it up because he's a kid. He's fucking making it up. The other thing that he's saying here is that um, people seem to be bullying him because of his Therian uh, beliefs here. And that some people in his pack have even killed themselves. And I have a tiny as brain for, you know, <laughs> for making fun of them. First off, I think there's a 90% chance that you're a kid. Okay, whoever's reading this, he's a kid. All right, I, I seriously, 90% chance that you're under the age of 19, you know, 20 max. Okay, although I do know that there are other Therians who are older out there on, and they have jobs and, and families and lives and careers you know, they're not the people who are complaining about being bullied, <laughs> right? Nor are they the people that, like, you know, um, are making YouTube comments about this kind of thing. 
If you're being bullied in school or whatever, you need to tell somebody, all right? Go tell a teacher, go tell a counselor or whatever, right? And, you know, there's there's this, like, this this myth of the, the schoolyard honor system where you don't squeal and all that. Fuck all that. Go fucking tell someone that you're, you're you know, getting picked on, right? Now, something else you should keep in mind is that if you're going around and you're telling people that you were a wolf in a prior life and they make fun of you for it, that's not the same thing as somebody coming and beating the shit out of you or picking on you, like... For no reason. Do you understand this? I want to make that clear, okay? If if you go out and you do something really stupid and people laugh at you, that's not the same as them coming up to you and picking on you, right? Instigating it, picking on you. Those are two different things, <clears throat> okay? If they just laugh at you and stuff and call you an idiot but are otherwise cool with you, that's not the same thing as being picked on, <laughs> right? Because everybody get experiences that first part. That first part where people make fun of you, that happens to everyone. And it could be because of your name, it could be because you're fat, you know? <laughs> I definitely experienced that one. Could be because you dress funny. Could be because you listen to a band that really fucking sucks. Right, that's a normal part of growing up, having people, you know, make fun of you, right? And learning how to deal with that is what builds character. You have to learn how to tell people to just get bent and do your own thing, right? That's what becoming an adult is all about, you know? Because when you become an adult, guess what? You get to do whatever the fuck you want. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Well, when you're a kid, not so much. You got a lot of peer pressure and shit like that, right? And that's growing up, okay? But that is different than just some random bully coming up to you and like, you know, fucking tormenting you and kicking the shit out of you and stealing your lunch money and, and whatever, right? That's different, right? If that shit's happening, you need to tell someone, all right? You know, if you're going if, I mean, because that's the thing, they'll, they'll tell you, people will tell you you need to defend yourself, right? And we all know that's not necessarily an option for everybody. Yeah, if you can defend yourself, do it, all right? You know, stick up for yourself. But there are times when it's like, the dude is three times your size, he's gonna fucking murder you, <laughs> right? You have, defending yourself is the dumbest thing to do. The best thing you can do is run, <laughs> right? And you know what, there's no shame in that either. If some dude is gonna physically harm you and you can't, you know, you have no way of defending yourself, you should run. You should, don't, don't even put yourself at risk for that kind of thing, right? But the biggest thing, you know, the number one thing you should do is go tell somebody. Go tell anybody, get some help, Get a teacher to fucking help you get an adult, you know, get your big brother, whatever. Get some, get some help from someone, right? <clears throat> so, and there's, there's no shame in calling for help. So, third thing here is that if you're actually, like, causing self-harm, if you're killing yourself because people are, like, making fun of your theory and, you know, belief here, then you have other problems that should be addressed, you know? It's, it's not the people that are causing you to kill yourself, it's... You know, you have other problems. You should go get some help. Get some, you know, talk to a counselor. Get some therapy, all right? Because normal, ordinary, healthy people with religious beliefs that they sincerely believe in do not kill themselves, even if they are being picked on. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I want to move on. Here's another guy named Cursed Wolf Vlogs and Gaming. Um, I suspect that this is actually the same person as Pinecone from the Flaming Skies uh, you know, pack or whatever, because they have very similar sentence structure, <laughs> right? And also, Pinecone kind of reminded me to make this response video when I said I was going to respond to Cursed Wolf here, but, you know, it could be that they're different people, but I don't know, I doubt it. So, Cursed Wolf Vlogs and Gaming. I'm a wolf Therian and I understand these things. This person got the facts wrong and here's how he did. Number one, Therians are a human that believes they are an animal through meditation and studying of themselves, which is nothing like a furry. Number two, not all Therians will do things animals will do, but they have the urge to do so with no hesitation. Three, animalistic tendencies come natural and will happen at any time, so we have only a little control over it. You don't see a wolf doing some things just for fun, it's also because it helps with their survival and life. 
For Therianopathy has been around for thousands of years, but hasn't been named or truly discovered until the late 80s to early 90s. These are my facts that will prove your claims wrong. First off, none of these are facts. You know, they just aren't, <laughs> all right? Um, second, Therians, it seems, you know, don't really come to this realization that they're reincarnated animals through years of practice and meditation. That's, that's not true, you know? You're not like some monk in a fucking you know, monastery somewhere, or like a shaman traveling the spirit world. You're not, dude. You're a kid at home reading the internet, <laughs> all right? That's where it fucking came from. That's because it seems like these people, you know, like I said, who are kids, you know, usually what it is, they're just choosing their favorite animal. That's what they're doing, you know, the same way that when you're five and you go, what's your favorite animal? Oh, my favorite animal is a wolf. Then it's just taking that concept and bringing it forward and adding a dose of of fucking commercialized McDonald's spirituality to it. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. I mean, and that's what it is. That's what it seems to be the case when you read through the Therian subreddits and you go to their forums and stuff like that. That's what it is. You get people asking questions like, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm a wolf or a porpoise. Like, I'm not even kidding. You know, just go read through some of that stuff. And there'll, there'll be people asking questions like, what is my animal? I don't know what I am. I, I feel like I have four legs and maybe I'm a wolf, but then I thought I was a squirrel. Like, it's, no, you're not, you know, it's not like you're sitting there meditating for fucking 40 days and 40 nights without food in the wilderness. And then like, you know, you get a spiritual experience and <sighs> I'm really a fucking naked mole rat. No, that's not, that's not what's happening here. It's just... Kids going on the internet, reading stuff, and wanting to play along is what's really happening here. All right. I mean, fucking give me a break, man. You're not Kane from Kung Fu. You're not Yoda. You're not a fucking mystic. You're not Don Juan. I mean, Jesus Christ. So this does bring up an interesting point, though, that being Therians are all human. So if the reincarnation model of cosmology is the truth like they say... And the reason why they have these feelings and urges is because they're actually were these animals in a past life, like in an alternate dimension or something. Then it would stand the reason that the other animals out there, right, in the world would also have these feelings and urges. Like, wouldn't you say? Right. You know, so that would only make logical sense because if people are being reincarnated as other animals, then other animals should be, should be reincarnated as other animals as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I think it does, right? If one is true, the other one just should also be true. So you should see then animals out there who act like other animals. But you don't really see that, right? So you don't really see sparrows who bray like sheep or cows who act like lions or a Komodo dragon that meows like a cat chasing a fucking ball of string and like jumping in a cardboard box and shit. You don't really see that, you know, an animal out there tends to act like the way other members of its species does, you know. You never, you never get an animal that's an outcast that does not take on the instinctual behaviors <laughs> of other members of its species. That's just exactly, that's 100% true. Okay, so if this were true, if, if creatures reincarnate as other creatures, then how come we've never observed this in the wild, right? <laughs> it, it, you would think that that would be a thing. You would think you would find, for example, um, let's say a horse that exhibits dog behaviors. You never see that, right? You never see a, a cat that, you know, exhibits behaviors like um, a spider monkey. <laughs> you know, it just, it just doesn't, or a, or a crow, you know, or something, or, or whatever. It, it never happens that way. And also, yeah, I, I did make a furry comparison in my other video, and a lot of people gave me shit for that. But, you know, I kind of stand by it because it's, it seems to me to be a related thing. Just the, the difference is that the furries know that it's all made up, you know? <laughs> the furry people also believe that they have a fursona and all this other shit. But they, they know that it's all play-acting and fantasy, even the, the Therians have convince themselves that it's fucking real so it's like furries actually get more respect from me for that so let's move on okay the second one not all theorians will do things animals will do but they have the urge to do so with no hesitation 
So, what the fuck does that actually mean? Like, you know, that, okay, I'm going to read that, and then the next sentence here. Right, so keep in mind what this guy just said. Not all Therians will do things animals will do, but they have the urge to do so without hesitation. Okay, so people want to do these things without hesitation, but they don't always do it. Keep that happen, right? Three, animalistic tendencies come natural and will happen at any time, so we only have a little control over it. <laughs> so, wait a minute. You just said Therians won't always do the things that animals do, but then in the third comment you said that they, you know, it, the tendencies come and you have little control over it. So which one is it? You know, will you do it or can you control it or can you not control it? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> All right, I, I don't know. I, how am I supposed to respond to that except to say that it sounds like you're just making it up as you go along. So I want to go to this last thing um, where he talks about the belief, okay, Therianopathy has been around for thousands of years, but hasn't been named or truly discovered until the late 80s to early 90s. And then there's another comment that he has here. Because when I, when I objected to that, <laughs> right, because it's bullshit, he commented another one. The, th the name and community has been around for 20 years, but the belief has been around for thousands. For example, the Native Americans had this belief as well. Yeah, man, that's... Not exactly the same. First off, the word Therianopathy is not what you believe. Okay, you believe, the Therians, right, believe that they were in a past life an animal, right? And that's why they have animal urges. The word Therianopathy is not that. Therianopathy is the belief that um, human beings can shapeshift into their physical bodies into animals. So, uh, you know, um, werewolves, lycanthropy, right? Skinwalkers, okay? Uh, Valkyries that change into swans, all right? That's Therianopathy, you know, from like mythology, examples of Therianopathy from mythology, right? That's not the same thing. So let's keep that in mind, right? That, that's also another piece of evidence that tells me that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about and that you're just making it up, but whatever. Um, you know, but that's what Therianopathy means, right? Not a bunch of teenagers pretending to be wolves. Secondly, there are beliefs in many religions around the world, like who, you know, Hinduism and Buddhism and like Native American beliefs and things like that. You know, that um, you have an immortal soul and it reincarnates. And some of those incarnations may have been as animals, right? But the thing is, first off, First off, these religions vary wildly between each other, okay? Buddhism has very little in common with Native American beliefs, right? In fact, there are hundreds of Native American beliefs there because there are hundreds of tribes, okay? Each one of them had their own religion. I mean, yeah, there were a lot of shared beliefs in between them, right? But you couldn't say that a Cherokee believes the same thing as an Inuit. Okay, it's not the same fucking, not even close to the same thing. Those are peoples that had no contact with each other. They were hundreds and hundreds of miles apart. And any similarities they have in their belief systems are superficial at best. All right, which is what we're, which is what we're talking about here. I mean, Buddhism and even between like Buddhism and Hinduism, which are very close, right? Um... They don't have the same belief. It's not the same thing. And there's even variations between us in within a single religion, within Buddhism, for example. You know, there's some people who believe that reincarnation is karma driven, right? And it has to be worked out. And then there's some people who believe that it's just the normal progression of the soul. If you're going to take elements of these religions, right? Why not? Why are you only taking pieces of these and not? all the religions like what makes these ones true and then other religions that don't believe in in reincarnation not true you know uh christianity judaism islam <laughs> right they don't believe in, in reincarnation how come they're false and these other ones are true you don't have no proof either way right it just seems like you're just taking the ones that fit what you believe and calling those true so and here's the thing and even if all of the religions on the entire world believed in reincarnation, that's still not proof that it's true, okay? 
because there is no proof that reincarnation is true. All right, there's no proof one way or the other that any of them are true. So just because people believe it doesn't mean it's true. You gotta remember, you know, there's, there's what people believe, there's what can be proven, there's what's actually true. All three of those things are different things, right? And just because you believe something's true and you have a billion people that believe the same thing, that doesn't actually affect reality. There's so many ridiculous contradictions in that one statement that I could probably make an entire video <laughs> over that entire thing. You know, I mean, here's the thing is that we know where Therians came from. And you know, it didn't start with people saying that they were wolves and lions and tigers and sheep and shit, okay? It started with people believing that they were elves and vampires. That's where other kin and Therians came from on the internet, okay? It came from, like, in the 90s, there were vampire boards, right? Although a lot, most of those people actually thought that it was all play acting and shit like that. But, you know, Poe's Law is in effect, so you get people that are, like, playing and stuff, and then eventually you get people in there that actually think the shit's real. And that's what happened, right? And then, you know what it really came from? When Lord of the Rings came out, and there were people um, on boards and stuff that saw Rivendell in that movie and thought that, you know, this is just like the dreams I'm having. Right. And they, you know, and this belief came around that, oh, it must have been another life that I was like actually a, an elf and this movie tapped into our subconscious and used those designs and stuff. And it's like, get the fuck out of here. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've heard in my entire life. And the thing is, we, but that's where it came from. We have those you can go and find those those message boards and, you know, shit like that. And you can actually read it. And that's where this, you know, and it just kind of expanded from there. And then other people were like, well, I always thought that I was a wolf and I have visions of this and that. And it's like, that's where it's from. All right. It's not some, you're not tapping into some ancient Jungian archetype of us, you know, being from, being reincarnated from our primal roots as an animal or some shit like that. You're not doing that, all right? Seriously, you're fucking not, okay? Like I said before, you're not meditating up in a monastery <laughs> on a mountain for years on end to come to some huge spiritual revelation, all right? You're not a fucking shaman traveling the fucking spirit world, you know, taking ayahuasca and shit like that and... and traveling within your mind and, and penetrating the deep human psyche and, you know, collective unconscious and, and discovering that you are really a wolf. You're not doing any of that shit. You're on a, you're talking to people on the internet, all right, and making shit up because it feels good, you know. And in that respect, you know, it's, this ain't a big mystery, all right. And in that respect, it's no different what you believe, the theory and shit. It's no different than any other religion out there, right? I'm not going to elevate it to the status of a religion because it's not a religion, okay? Come back when you have a church and followers and you guys are giving donations <laughs> and recruiting people and you have a fucking, you know, tax deduction. You know, your, your, your church is like tax exempt, right? Come back when all that shit's true. Then I'll call you a religion. Right. But at this point, you know, it's it's a belief, I guess, if you can even call it a belief. But I guess so. I guess you could call it a belief. And if it's simply a belief, then it can it's allowed to be scrutinized like any other belief. So if I'm going to sit here and I'm going to like, you know, bag on Christians and Muslims and Jews and Hindus and Buddhists because they all believe silly things. Right. Because I think their religions are bullshit then I'm going to do the same thing to Therians too. And you know what? It's a lot easier. <laughs> it's a lot easier. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's, it's a lot easier to poke holes in this stuff because once again, it was made up by teenagers. So does that make me a dick? Yeah, maybe, but not any more so than any other fucking YouTube atheist. I'm not even really an atheist, believe it or not. I'm more of an agnostic, you know, um, but that's another video. So, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> if this makes me a fucking asshole, then I guess that's what I am. But, you know, I'm not backing down at all. <laughs> right? Because it's fucking bullshit.
Anyway, that's all I got, folks. Adios.